there you are. Who, who was that? I assume you already know. What happened? Where am I? You died. I died? Yeah, I remember now. Good. So this is the afterlife? Yes. And your god? Yep, I'm god. My mom and my dad. What about them? What about my mom and my dad? Will they be alright? Ah, that's what I like to hear. You just died and your main concern is your family. That's good stuff right there. But don't worry, your parents will be alright. They'll remember you as perfect. They didn't have time to grow contempt for you. And what happens to me? Do I go to heaven or hell? No, you will be reincarnated. So the Hindus were right. Every religion is like its own way. So what's the point then? When I get reborn, I'll just be a blank slate, a baby. None of the experiences I've ever had will matter. No, no not, not so. so. You have the knowledge and experience in all past lives. You just don't remember it. The soul is more magnificent, beautiful and gigantic than you can possibly imagine. The human mind can only hold a tiny fraction of what you want. It's like sticking your finger into a bowl of hot water. You're putting a part of yourself into the vessel and when you pull it out, you gain all the experiences it had. You've only been a human for the past 17 years. You haven't stretched out and felt the rest of your immense consciousness. So if you stay here long enough, you'll start remembering everything. But there's no point in doing that between each life. Oh, so how many times have I been reincarnated? Oh, lots. Lots and lots. More than you can possibly imagine. This time around, you'll be a Chinese peasant girl in 540 AD. So wait, you're sending me back in time? Well, yes, technically. Things are different where I come from. Time, as you know, it is very different from me. And where do you come from? Yeah, I come from someplace, somewhere else. I know you want to know what it's like there, but trust me, you wouldn't understand. Oh wait, if you can get reincarnated back in time, wouldn't I have interacted with myself at some point? Oh yeah, it happens all the time. And when both persons only aware of their own lifespans, they don't even know it's happening. So what's the point of it all? Oh my god, I've told you this many, many, many times. But it's redundant because you keep forgetting. It's a reasonable question. The meaning of life, the reason I created this world is for you to mature. What? Just me? What about everyone else? There is no one else. In this universe, there's just you and me. But all those people on Earth? All you. Different incarnations of you. So what? Wait, you mean my mom, my dad, my friends, they're all me? That's right. So I'm Abraham Lincoln? Go on. I'm Hitler? And you're the millions he killed. So I was also Jesus? And the millions that followed you. Why? Every time you victimize someone, you're victimizing yourself. Every act of kindness you've done, you've done to yourself. Every happy or sad moment felt by every human on earth will or was felt by you. Why do all this? Because someday you'll become like me. That's what you are. The one of my kind. You're my child. Oh, I'm a god? No, not yet. You're still a fetus. And once you've gone through every human life of all time, you would have grown enough to be born. So this whole universe Enough of this conversation. If we stay here long enough, we'll start remembering everything. And we don't want that, do we? 
and about the man that killed you. What do you want me to do to him?